women are for the first time potentially on a large scale being encouraged to um, embrace themselves and their desires and their dreams um, without restraint and that's a, a hugely powerful thing um, i'm jody bliss and i'm the owner of uh, bliss studio custom metalwork in monument colorado um, i'm an artist blacksmith so um, what that means is that uh, i heat metal and uh, move it uh, to create artwork i also I uh, use welders and CNC machines and uh, basically anything that I need to to make, make my designs come into fruition. Once I figured out that I could heat the metal up and move it and take it from this very like masculine industrial material into this very flowing feminine uh, form, then it was it. It's, I always say it's like I dated a lot of materials and then I fell in love. I found my, my kind of, the one that I really connected with. So the, one of the reasons that uh, I have always and continue to create art is that there is a really special feeling that I get from having an idea and then translating it, whether it's on paper or um, whether it's in metal, um, there's like a, there's a magic that happens, and there's a real gratification that that comes from allowing things to flow, and it, it really kind of is like a flow. I do create a lot of sculptures of females, um, and I can't say that I necessarily um, started out with that as like an intentional thing. Um, but I guess that I, feel, I do find the female form uh, very empowering. Um, I think that it's, uh, I think it's beautiful, uh, it has amazing curves, can be very emotive, uh, body language and gestures. Women are powerful. So um, I would say that in a way, and this is, like I said, kind of unintentional, but the my work falls into into line with our contemporary movements in that way that uh, women are and should be recognized as powerful beings um, capable of great communication, capable of transformation, capable of influence and, and inspiring. Mm -hmm.